Howdy champs, what is, what's up? Uh, guys, today I'm going to show you a very cool example, a very cool uh, plugin, and that's the Arivate Zoom plugin. Okay, let's straight away, as always, start off with the browser preview. So you see an image out here, and if I hover upon, you can see a tint is thrown all around, and you as you zoom over different areas, uh, see the uh, the zoomed up picture on the right hand side basically you need two pictures one smaller picture one bigger picture okay the bigger picture is going to be thrown up on the right hand side okay and i've not created a plugin i don't take the credit uh, for it i just take the credit of making things uh, easier for you the examples they have shown on the elevate web.co.uk uh, website may be a little difficult for you to understand although i don't think they are uh, difficult to understand but I've tried to make them as simple as possible for you okay so you can actually uh, click on the download uh, link out here and download the plugin or else you can take it from me I would rather uh, suggest that you take it from me simply because I've removed some unnecessary files that you may not need but uh, for uh, extra advanced uh, complex examples uh, you can actually go to the website elevate uh, web.co.uk you know this URL basically I'm gonna uh, leave the URL in the description you can go to the URL and uh, you see I've not uh, followed the uh, gallery and the light box example which could be a little complex okay I've left that example out uh, you can refer to that example going to the URL I've taken a uh, certain simpler examples not very complex and I've some simplified them even further okay right so let's see uh, how we can actually uh, replicate this effect you know it has the easing it has the tint uh, color uh, and you see if I use the mouse scroll wheel I can narrow down on an area okay right so let's see uh, is it uh, difficult to do that not at all okay so let's jump right in the uh, okay this is the local site folder this is the images folder which in turn has uh, a large and a small folder with corresponding larger and smaller images okay I'm just using one of the four images out here this is the HTML CSS uh, JS file all combined this is the uh, jQuery version 1.8.3 but feel free to use the latest jQuery version and this is the plugin uh, jQuery dot elevate zoom dash 3.8 uh, 0. Uh, 0.8 point minified JS file right so let's bring up the uh, the HTML file I'm using the HTML5 doc type and meta cache set title all standard okay tying up with the jQuery versions 1.8.3 feel free to use the latest version in line number 6 line number 7 ties up with the plugin jQuery elevate zoom whatever whatever right so in the uh, opening and the closing body tags we don't have much uh, right now okay so we have a, a BR tag out here we have opening closing script tags so they're kind of empty okay so let's start pushing in the code slowly and evenly okay this is the first line nothing but an image IMG tag okay ID zoom you could have chosen a different ID too I like to use the ID zoom SRC pointing to the images folder which uh, inside has a small folder which inside has image one dot PNG the smaller version of the image okay now data dash zoom dash image uh, attribute points to uh, the images folder then the larger version so basically getting inside the larger of uh, large folder and then fetching image one dot jpg uh, this is png this is jpg okay so this is the bigger version of the same image then we have a a br tag uh, okay let's push in some more code guys so in the opening and the closing script tags all we need to do but also ensure that it's just above the body guys just above the body you know where the body actually closes is where you need to push in the script tag so you have the zoom basically targeting uh, this image with the ID zoom so targeting ID zoom and applying the alleyway zoom plugin plain vanilla plain Jane 
okay no effects added yet but let's see how the plain Jane version actually looks like maybe you just need that so let's do a file and a save and bring the browser up this is the plain Jane uh, uh, um, preview okay this is the plain Jane preview no easing uh, no mouse wheel uh, mouse wheel mouse scroll wheel working I can't uh, use the mouse scroll wheel yet okay this is the plain Jane vanilla version maybe you just need that who knows okay so let's go on making certain changes so let's throw in a bit more of uh, bit more code more of the code okay so just adding curly braces inside the round brackets add more code easing set to true let's see what this actually does okay a refresh and yep the easing has been added so it scrolls smoothly and nicely uh, right let's throw in more code tint color uh, set to true, tint set to true, and then uh, adding some tint color. The, this tint, tint color could be a different color too. That's entirely up to you. Okay, I've chosen a gray shade. Let's see how this affects the whole uh, preview. So let's do a refresh, and you see a tint color has been added to the smaller image. Okay, very cool. Okay, let's throw in more code. Uh, tint opacity. I'm adding a tint opacity as well. Okay, and yeah some some opacity has been added to the smaller image very cool let's add some more code uh, scroll zoom basically if you use the mouse wheel mouse scroll wheel it can zoom now so let's see that yep I'm using the mouse scroll wheel to zoom up and down very cool okay very cool and is there anything else I think that should be it uh, no, that's it. That's all. Uh, uh, that's where we can actually terminate the tutorial. So, guys, it's so very easy. Although, as I said, you can go to the uh, Alivate Web dot co dot uk uh, website and download the plugin from there. But uh, I would suggest you rather take it from the link that I leave in the description because I've actually removed some extra files. Okay, you may need those extra files for extra complex examples, like the uh, gallery and light box example they have uh, given up. Uh, you know, they've shown out here. So if you click, it actually opens up as a gallery this way. Okay, so you may need those extra files, but for the example that I've shown, if that is all that you need, you won't need uh, the extra files. You'll just need the few files. Uh, out here in my local site folder so guys I hope you found this information useful you have a good day bye bye peace